Hello and welcome to Zim Explore. I am Dr. Abstract and in this Explore we're going to take a look at Zim Distill so that we can minify things woo, and send them out through the ether. How exciting. Okay, let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on the code section and we will figure out where this minify stuff is for distill. It's past the template, past the help section. Ah, here it is at the top of the tools. Zim distill reduces code. So if we press that, we come to the Zim distill site. And you can enter your company. Oh, yes, you may have a company. Wow, it doesn't really matter any company you want and an app name. And you'll put in some code here under examples. We'll, we'll show you. Uh, when you have your code, we'll start with distill equals true. We'll do this live. And then at the end of our code, we'll run a distill function. And the distill function spits out these numbers. And that's all of the functions and classes that Zim has used for your app. And then when you put that into distill, it minifies it, and it looks like this. Minify, 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 and your code becomes less. Ooh, how exciting. Okay, so let's uh, close this down and go to an example. So here's uh, the Zim Explore example. It's using the Zim Fit template here. And we'll just minify what comes in a Zim Fit template. So we start with distill equals true before we make our frame. Otherwise, it won't know to include zim frame. So up here, distill equals true. That's a constant. And we don't need the zim dot in front because we are not requiring the zim namespace. So there's distill true. Now, when we're done our code, down below here, we can say distill. Oops, and that runs a function that will output to our console. Now, just be careful if you say clicked on the circle and then when you click on it, you animate something. Uh, this would happen before you clicked and therefore it wouldn't know about animate. So you need to be a little bit careful. You would put distill then at the end of your click function and then distill would know about animate. Okay, sounds good. Let's save that and we'll view this in a browser. Open it in a browser. And there's our template. And if we take a look at the console, F12, here is distill and it's telling us to take these numbers right here. Now that could be a lot. Say we made 100 circles, you're going to get 100 circles made over and over and over again here. But that's all right. You just copy all of the distill code and uh, distill will filter that out it will remove duplicates and only give you it won't give you a hundred circle definitions it'll only give you one so uh, you'll be okay there so now we've got that we go to our browser then and we go find oh, what i closed before so hey remember where to find that in the code down there it is right there so we distill uh, we can put in a company. We are part of Zim. Woohoo! And the app name is Explore. Well, maybe you better not put that one in there. You can choose the version of Zim you want minified because things change as, as they go along there. And we hit distill. Dump, 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 dump. And here it is. So we copy that. Copy. Uh, there's also available for you a non-minified version uh, for your reference uh, if you're interested to see what all was collected there. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but if anything goes wrong and you forget something, you're also welcome to hit the more, and then it gives you all of the Zim functions. You can just say, oh, well, actually, there was a gesture or something like that, and then distill, and it will include the gesture along with all of the things that you've asked for. Okay, uh, we try our best to handle dependencies. For instance, the drag, we didn't drag. And if we, we, we called distill before we dragged. So we set, we set it to drag, but we didn't actually drag it before distill ran. Uh, drag requires a ticker. So if we didn't put in a dependency for that ticker, so if you want to explore with me, shall we explore? Uh, well, let's just um, let's just make that distill 
file first. Okay, and we'll finish this up and then we'll explore a little bit. So here in Zim Distill, uh, I am going to make a new file. I will call it just d.js. And then I'm going to paste in our distilled code. So this is all the code that was needed to make the frame to um, handle all the other stuff there that we were using. So we save that up d.js. You can see that it's smaller than 300k, which is what Zim is, so um, smaller. And then we come in here. We don't need this anymore. We won't bother. As a matter of fact, uh, it will tell you, by the way, you can take out your distill. You no longer need that. And we'll comment that one out. But what's most important is we no longer need all of Zim, but rather just the d.js, which happens to be in the same folder. Okay, so now we save this and we view it in a browser. Browser, this one, and refresh there. And frame is not. So something happened there. What was it? Uh, failed o oh, to load explorer dot d dot js. Why did it do that? Oh, I saved d dot js inside of distill. Uh, I was looking at distill earlier. So can I just move that? up to explore a b c d e explore is there okay uh did that move it yeah there i saw it i saw it. d dot js is down there so um great we had just saved the d dot js in the wrong place and refresh there we go Alrighty, so that's working just fine neat huh um ready from zim frame from distill.html, uh, let's see, can we tell what distill we're running? Yeah, normally Zim, if, if it's not distilled, we'll say uh, hi from Zim sort of thing. So this is definitely no longer using the uh, this one. You want to see that? Just to make sure you believe it. So we refresh there. You see how it says Zim frame uh, from Zim 6.9.0. Well, if we are just using a distilled version. It no longer says that. So, oh, DS, which is D. So we save that and refresh here. And it's no longer saying that. Here's our distilled code. Cool. So I was mentioning uh, that we try and do our best to figure out dependencies. And that can be seen here in the <laughs> distilled directory. Uh, where is that? A, B, C, D, 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 up here. Right, so our functions, uh, there's a listing of the functions that are available. And then at the bottom of the functions is a dependencies list. So um, we would search drag, drag, hit enter. There it is, number 31. And so 31 requires 14, 17, and, 20, and 30. So what are those? 30. That's 31, 14, 17, and 30. 17 is a dictionary, and 14 is a damp, and 31 is. Oh, 31 is the drag. What is it? 14, 17, and 30. So number 14, what's 14? Who's got eyes on 14? Oh, that was a damp. 14, 30? Was it 30? What's, no, what's number 30? I'm looking for the part where it says we need the ticker. Uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. We're crying out loud. There it is. A uh, ticker got moved around a bit. Um, so yeah, 30 is the ticker. <clears throat> Neat, huh? And uh, that is how we can minify our code. Isn't that wonderful? Using Zim Distill. Here at Zim Explorer, I am Dr. Abstract. Have an amazing night out in space. Ciao.